welcome to this video and welcome to my channel now in today's video i just want to talk about the new campaign that's up and running right now and it's called the disability game changer now i've done a little bit of research not a lot but i will add any information that i think will be needed and if i don't manage to do that then i will add the scrop website in the description bar below and there you can find out as much as you need to find out so i'm going to start off by saying that in britain today there are 13.9 million people that are disabled eight percent of those are kids no children 90 percent are working age adults 45 percent are patient age adults and over 3.4 million are in employment and are twice as likely to be unemployed as non-disabled and life costs 570 pounds more on average a month and disability fraud benefits fraud at the lowest levels of all fraud now attitudes to disabled people since london paralympics one year on in 2013 70 percent had a positive effect on public perceptions four years on nearly half 45% of British public don't know anyone who is disabled. How is that even possible? And 67% feel awkward around disability, which is quite high. Just in case you don't know, Pixie has come to make herself known. <laughs> so if you hear her or see her, then you know it's Pixie, the cat. Anybody who is subscribing to my channel will know who she is. So I'll click on another video and you'll see her especially on my last video yeah she's my cat nine and a half years old <laughs> so i want to talk about how for me personally social media has impacted in my life and it's been a positive one for me i've kind of gone from being quite sociable and outgoing but i was going to night clubbing i was going to meals out cinema bowling going to friends' houses. And then, as my health has deteriorated over the last five, six years, I've gone out less and less and less. <laughs> now I do have a really good group of friends around me who I love them all to bits. I don't know that they care, they want the, they want the best for me. But I don't see them that often. They work, they live away, they've got families, they have busy lives, you know, busy lives. And as I'm not able to go out as much, it's hard for me to see them. A lot of my friends live in houses where they don't have a downstairs toilet. For me personally, in my anxiety, I get really anxious around going around to people's houses. For me, it's really difficult going out now with friends. Even going out with my f family, right? physically it's hard. Uh, I've got a special occasion like a wedding or a birthday party my dad will drive us there it's not always able to get back now we've he's had to drive there so we can put my wheelchair in the car and leave it there overnight and then get a taxi home because we can't get a taxi to put my wheelchair in you still do so that's been another factor as well get being able to get to places transport but back to the social media i say i'm not able to go out as much now i i struggle with fatigue and pain so much the last three nights which is very rare all i need to do is sleep and i've done mostly that like yesterday i had my niece here she's two and a half so she's a typical toddler you know up and about back and forward <laughs> and i'm up earlier you know because i want to spend time with her and get ready it, really takes out me so last night i spent nearly two hours of sleep and then i slept i felt really tired like quite i was tired all night actually last night but i just kind of you know waved on but it was like i need to be okay for today because i'm at the hospital today <laughs> but some nights i don't sleep very well i can have like two hours some nights so i'm not able i don't have the energy the strength to go out and it's not easy when you've had lack of sleep and i am more than just like anybody else with my health dis my disability which is Alice down syndrome 
we can have we can sleep for a month and still struggle to to keep going and to sleep. We just want more sleep. Not that we want it, but we need it because we can't physically function. You know, our pain levels are worse. And like, I'm out on an average week, Wednesday, Thursday when I've had your therapy, then either Friday or Saturday, and then a Sunday. So the Monday and the Tuesday, I'm absolutely zombie ride. I'll sleep the majority of the day. And then, you know, I just don't have any energy, motivation to do anything. I don't want to do anything on the Monday and Tuesday unless I've got appointments and I can't really uh, not go to them <laughs> it's really difficult because obviously my friends can't just drop the wives to take me out on a day that I'm feeling really good that's not possible it's, and it's not fair you all have the wrong wives so I, I know I'm diverting off what I'm trying to talk about but it kind of gives you the, the full picture of what I'm trying to say which I hope you can understand and keep up with. <laughs> I'm not the best at explaining things. So yeah, I'm not able to go out as much. So social media for me has been amazing. I can go on Facebook, I go on Instagram. I, I don't often post Instagram pictures. Say I'll take some after I've finished this video. Can I do a nice picture for the thumbnail? I may upload that either later or tomorrow. I've got a photo that I took yesterday that I'll post on that today. <laughs> I'm really out of breath. <laughs> anyway, so basically Instagram, Twitter. Twitter's the best one for me because there's so many people in my situation. You know, I've got friends on my Facebook who been, who get get where I'm coming from and I get where they're coming from. And they have the same conditions. So, you know, I can connect with people with certain disabilities, with different disabilities of all walks of life. You know, I can connect with people who are into makeup, into music. I'm connected with so many, for example, Backstreet Boy fans because of my love for them. From there, they've kind of seen my life through my my eyes, and they've gained an understanding of you know my health issues, what I go through, what I'm up to, you know, what I'm like. Yeah, socially, it's the best thing for me. So I can talk to people without spending two hours getting ready because that is on a bad day. It could take me a long time to get ready. Much to my <laughs> problems and annoyance. <laughs> so I always have to get up way early, like, early than I need to so I can be ready on time. But so it's me, I don't have to do that. I can just sit at home, messing up, talk to them. You know, it's not just talk and connecting with people, but it's being able to do YouTube, you know, look at me doing this channel. I work very hard on this channel. This is giving me a focus in my life. It's giving me purpose. You know, I, you know, try and raise awareness about Alice on the syndrome. I do things that I love, like the makeup, vlogging, you know. Which is give, getting people an insight into my life and for the people. It, it's it's amazing. So yeah, you know, you know, YouTube is my favourite, I think. Apart from Twitter, I know I said Twitter before. Twitter, YouTube and Instagram are my favourites. So I like posting photos. Who, who doesn't? <laughs> well, I know a lot of people don't. I like Instagram. I feel like it doesn't really matter about my disability. Same with Twitter, it doesn't really matter about my disability. People just see like my makeup or my picture looking nice and they'll like it's but it's being included and letting people in to see past disability. Like obviously they're gonna see it and they're gonna know and they're gonna be aware. From time to time I'm gonna talk about my disability. But it's helping them to see past that and see me as a person. My likes and dislikes. Get you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Another aspect of social media is Netflix, Sky apps, so I can watch TV, I can watch things and that which provides comfort, distraction, and it gives me things to talk about with people. Which can be hard because most people my age are working, they've got families, they 
we could just go and drive around as we please. They can, yeah, I've said before, it's that kind of defines me from other people my age, I guess. We relate, we didn't relate to them, it's hard. But it's like we're at a different level in our lives. Through social media, I can keep up with what they're doing. But I tend to just do things at my own pace anyway. So for that, it doesn't really matter as much. What I'm saying is, for me, like I say, it's, it's being included in the outside world. It's giving me a purpose, a focus, enjoyment, distraction, and it means the world to me. Without it, I'd be lost. What would I be doing in my life? Because I'm not able to go out as much now. I have to really plan things and really decide if I can do it, if I want to do it. Most people my age are going out about all the time, you know, like say working, families, busy social lives. Whereas I, I'm not able to do that as, as much. So it, it, it stops me from being isolated, feeling lonely, keep being a, and kept me being a part of this world. This big, massive world with so many people. It's giving me a voice, like, you know, to raise awareness, to showcase my life in the way that I choose to showcase it. You know, I try to be positive about my disability and my life. And I hope that comes across in, in my social media. But that is, for me, is a game changer for disability. And I'm thankful for it. So, so grateful. I do hope I've explained what I try to say and i'm sorry if, if you if i've lost you <laughs> in what i've said but if you want me to do another video like this talking like this then please 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 let me know in the comments below and i will link add a link to my website where you can find me on social media so make sure you check out all my accounts you know instagram facebook twitter and you and hopefully you'll, you'll find me from here <laughs> from youtube <laughs> So thank you for watching this video. I'm sorry if it's been a bit rambly. Rosa, I hope you've understood my message. And don't forget to click on the scroll link so you can find out much, much more information about the campaign. I think it's a great campaign. Scope has really, really good campaigns. I feel connected with Scope because for three years I went to Beaumont College, which is a scope run college in Lancaster. I went there for three years. And, I, and then I learned so much about equality, diversity, reaching for the stars and your goals, you know, finding ways around things, trying to improve access in the community and being an advocate for yourself and being assertive, you know, that taught me all that. I'm not great at being assertive. <laughs> and now it's getting like a little bit, but you know, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a older than I was back then. And I've been through things that I never thought I would. So yeah, confidence has been a bit locked since then. But I, you know, for the three years of my life there, it taught me so much. And being a student there, I felt like I was a game changer, a disability game changer. Yeah, thank you to Beaumont College. <laughs> yeah, so I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, then let me know by clicking the thumbs up. And don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I'll see you in my next video. Take care and I'll see you all soon. Bye. Bye.